Hey family, we back. Um, I told you, I think about a couple of days ago, that we were going to um, upload in a couple of days, so we're back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, evening walk. Walk during the day and evening, because I am determined to meet my weight loss goal by the end of this year. So, whatever that takes, you know, exercise in the morning, exercise in the evening, I'm going to get to my weight goal. Weight goal, trust me. There's a family. There's the red. Well, we're missing one, but we got three of them with us. So here's the family. Hello, everyone. Hello. Where's Jordan? We got Jordan, didn't we? We got you on here. So we're taking our evening walk. We didn't eat dinner. So now it's time to walk off the calories that we ate. So we're down again at the. um. I think I always get the name wrong. I call it the boardwalk. What, what is it called? The dock. The dock. It's called the dock, y'all. The dock on the river. The dock on the river. That's where we're at, you know. Um, it's kind of quiet right now, but it's evening hours. People are coming off of work and everything to come out here and eat dinner. So it's going to get pretty crowded. A couple of people out here now on the dock, but uh, we're gonna have a couple events. I think this um, Sunday they're having the African American Festival down here across the river. I'm gonna show you with the across the river. They got designs out already. Let me show you. I'm gonna go look closer so you can see. They got the ribbon blowing across there. Things set up for Sunday. Somebody choked it. 
<laughs> giving me the evil eye. <laughs> what I was saying, guys, was I'm gonna show you, you know, um, even I'm gonna show you the people down here now by the dock eating on the dock. I can see right here they got something in the water taxi to take you across the um, other side of the river and they show you right here got reservation for it and the mud hand gang. called the um, casinos but uh, obviously they've moved off the dock but within the last four or five years it is now called pier seven um prime burgers we're not sure if it's from the uh if it's, if it's owned by the same managers as the previous restaurant that was here a couple years ago but um you know um we're willing to try it out you know once to see how the food is see if the kids like it see how it goes with the family then now uh, that kind of decides whether we'll, we'll return <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, this is the way we are. You know, we'll, we'll try it, and um, it's, uh, to our liking, they'll see us again. They'll have uh, they'll have some permanent customers. So um, we're coming towards the uh, the end of our walk. We're going to give you a little shot on the river. Very calming. Um, you know, it's suitable for an evening like this. Here okay, you are. I guess, you know, that's kind of, you know, people, we, we don't know. Um, we got boaters and everything out here. So that, that lets them know that the water gets a little deeper. I'm going to give you a shot down there. Um, you'll, you'll also see a bridge down there, which is our famous bridge. Um, it divides both sides of towns. Uh, and like I said before, it's more of a, the deeper water down at that side of the, uh, of the river. Throughout this journey, 
Um, has it been um, has, has it been hard for you? Yeah, it's hard every day because you know um, when I had to make the decision to have the surgery, um, you know we went through all the testing and everything. You know, um, as um, some of you guys probably haven't seen the my introduction about my weight loss um, journey. It's on um, my page, so you might want to look that up to find out exactly what I'm talking about. But um, I'll give you a brief summary about what I'm talking about. I had to have um, weight loss surgery is because I had uh, I had a situation where uh, I basically was um, dying because my liver was enlarged and diseased. And so my um, doctor told me that there was only two options. It was either, either to um, be put on the... Um, this for a liver transplant, which means that who knows when I would got a liver to match mine, you know, and I could have died waiting for a transplant. And the other option was to have this weight loss surgery. So after talking to family, my husband, the kids, we decided that the best thing for me was to have the weight loss surgery. So that's what I did. I had a weight loss surgery. In 2014, I had a gastric sleeve. And um, I lost a lot of weight and everything. And um, before I had... Um, surgery, I had high blood pressure and diabetes. Um, when I had the first surgery, um, all my conditions reversed, so I don't have none of them now. But then, you know, my um, sleeves got stopped working after about maybe like two years and everything, and um, I still hadn't reached my weight loss goal that I wanted to get to. So after, you know, trying everything, running tests and everything, my surgeon found out that my sleeve was no longer working, and so um, we came up with the idea of having a revision, a uh, revision to the gastric bypass, um, which is, I'm sure you guys heard of the gastric bypass. That's the, the major, all of them are major, but the gastric bypass, that's the real major surgery. I wanted to have that one at first, when in 2014, um, it had a lot of scar tissue from having an emergency C-section. Um, with my oldest son and then the twins and they both were breached. I had to have a C-section then so I had a lot of scar tissue. So that's the reason why I couldn't have the bypass. But then when I had had the revision, my surgeon um, went in and um, did a revision from the sleeve to the bypass and he uh, took out all the scar tissue that I had. And so um, it, um, I had that surgery May 1st of last year. And um, I started off in the beginning, I weighed 300 and 50 pounds. Right now, I weigh two. Uh, pause right there. See, I wanted to ask the questions before you go any further. See, okay. now, now, was, this is how it's supposed to work. I'm supposed to ask the questions. Okay. You're supposed to give the answers. Okay. You gave up too, inform too much information. Oh, whatever. Okay, you did. Okay, now, now what I was going to ask next <laughs> uh, was, uh, um, but um, in all seriousness, guys, um, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to still have my wife in my life, even throughout the surgeries. I mean, that's just... Like the ultimate blessing from God. Because if they had okay. seen, seen okay. the pictures of me Second, walking around, they right. see the pictures. Exactly. So, um, but, I, but I was going to say this, um, you know, before any surgery was discussed, any, any type of surgery that was, was discussed, we, um, you know, as my wife probably said, said in a couple sentences ago, if you guys were listening closely, um, there was a problem with her kidneys. It's my um, liver. It's her liver. I'm sorry, babe. Um, her liver. We went on Google. We started Googling everything, trying to find different um, you know, information. I mean, this is a serious thing here. You know, your liver. You know, um, there's nothing you don't just take with a grain of salt. It's your, it's, it's your liver. So we started investigating. Like, okay, well, what can be done? Um, started talking to different doctors. And, you know, so we come and just came to a solution. And we had to go talk to someone concerning this matter. And the only solution was what, sweetie? For me to have weight loss surgery, and so I had to have it. That was a, that was the solution for her to have surgery. So this is when this discussion about surgery came about, and um, you know, and my wife just basically said to you, you know, yeah, she had weight, she was weighty before, um, still beautiful um, to me, and uh, so yes, but uh, but this is every end result of what God can do. Um, so, sweetie, um, I want to I want to say this to you. What, what do you have to say about people? Who see who are just probably coming to this video and seeing it for the first time, um, and they're inquiring about you know having this type of surgery or just ha have a certain have the same problem you do with like liver. They have a lot, you know, they, you know, they're faced with some some type of uh, you know trivial thing where it's the liver they, kidney. They, they end up dying if they don't do nothing about it. I would say you know what um, you want to get one life and everything, you know, um, and um, if this having this surgery is going to save your life and everything, I would say go for it.
And I said, you know, uh, find out all the education about, you know, the type of surgery you're going to have and everything. Uh, discuss it with your family and everything, you know. And um, if um, this is something that you want to do and everything, you know, like I said, you're going to get one life and everything. You know, you got to make it count, you know what I mean? So you got, you know, a family and everything. You want to be here for yourself and your family. So I, said, I would say, you know, find education about whatever type of surgery that you want to have and everything. And I say go for it because you want to get one life. Man, to that, you know what? I, I, you know what? I got a third, second, fourth that that motion. You know, um, people, we, we, we're gonna keep strolling on here. Uh, we, we're gonna go to the other side of this park, but uh, I'm just gonna kind of elaborate as to what my wife was saying. You know, you know, you gotta put your health first in all situations at all costs. Um, no matter what the situation is, you know, definitely, you, know, you want to be healthy, be around for your family. You know, definitely, so much, so real, so true. This is real life, people. There's no rewinding it back. It's real life. That's true. Yeah. Like I said, you know, the thing about it, what's scary to me is that, you know, um, I was just thinking that it was just my stomach was hurting. Like, I was having, like, stomach problems, and I would drink pepto every day, every day, every day. I'm drinking pepto -Bismol. Everybody knows they drink pepto every day. You know, it's not a good thing. To the point where, you know, I went to my doctor, and um, they ran. I had all these tests and EKG, all that, you know. I had a, um, I have done all that and they found out that it was my liver and it was like you know, you know you only get one liver you know what I mean so if that fails and everything easy you gotta uh trust easy you gotta have a transplant you know you gotta have a um weight loss surgery so like I said before who would have known who knows how long you be on the um the transplant you know uh list to get a liver I could have died waiting for and I wasn't willing to risk that, you know what I mean? I got a, I got a family and everything, and I wasn't willing to risk, you know, dying with me for a liver. So I just went ahead and decided to go with the weight loss surgery. I think it's the best thing that I could ever have done. Amen. Amen, sweetheart. Amen, sweetheart. Um, we're we're going to end this section right here. We're going we're gonna to be crossing over some traffic, people going in and out of the restaurants. So at this point, we're going to stop, but we're going to continue on the other side of the park. See you soon. <laughs> See you in the field. God bless. Hey family, we are back. We are on the other side of the park now. Over here is where people usually walk around and just sit down and enjoy the um, breeze from the water. Uh, and we have all the nationality flags all around. Let me show you guys. See, we got all the flags. This is um, another part of uh, the part, like I was saying, you know, you see a lot of geese and birds. They tell you don't feed the geese, but people still hard-headed and feed them. And they come up to you. I remember uh, my um, kids was like real young. I think it was like about maybe two we were down here. And um, I think it was Jordan. He was sitting in, um, in Tim's lap. And we were sitting right here, and a geese came up and tried to bite, um, try to bite, um, Jordan. And Tim and the geese were about to fight. It was too funny, y'all. <laughs> it was too funny. Okay, well, I, I wish I had, uh, Google that then. I mean, Google the vlog that then. But we got a close-up of a, a geese right here. Let me see. Look at it. So graceful. Ain't got care in the world. What is that? What's what? What? What thing? It's a rock. It's a rock. It's a piece of rock, son. So we all wish that life was that simple. We could just, you know, just float in the water and don't have a care in the world. Maybe whole family of them guys down here all the time. <laughs> what you want to sit at? You want to sit here? Okay guys, we are sitting down, you know, on one of the benches. Have a seat. You know, sitting down on one of the benches. I'm enjoying, you know, the breeze. We have 
have a lot of buildings. We are downtown. We have a lot of buildings. We have a lot of glass. Like right across from where we're sitting at, we have the uh, big old Fifth Third Bank building, and it is nothing but glass. I'm going to show you guys. We have a helicopter going over our heads right now. We got some kind of message. I can't see it. Call the Fry Guys. Call the Fry Guys. Uh, that was an airplane, baby. And right across from um, Sister Bank, it's another bank, Key Bank, and um, their bank is um, glass, too. So let me show you that. We just um, had like a new addition, like for Medica, you know, built something down here downtown, like some kind of health center down here for the people who work downtown. Because you come downtown, you know, um, to take care of business, and lunchtime you see people walking, you know, um, all around. And now they didn't um, made a wellness center here from from Medica, where some people maybe like on their lunch break can come and um, go to the wellness center and exercise while they're on their lunch break. And they also got inside there like a little like health restaurant, like maybe like a, a smoothie, you know, uh, healthy smoothies for you know people to you know um, get when they on their lunch break on their downtime. So trying to um really turn downtown you know back to something that used to be years ago i'm looking at the water right now and i see uh, somebody that got in a boat and they about to come i'm about to show you guys they're rowing on the rowboat there'll be all types of boats out here in the water but um i'm waiting till the boat get a little closer so i can show you them rowboat in the boat well, he actually rowing. he's actually just sitting on the boat i'm sure you guys Something most people do, guys, um, in the evening here, they come down to some of these boats you see people, and as my wife just showed you, they're actually, some of them are for rent. You, know, you can come out with your family, um, get on the boat, so just do a couple rounds around the river, you know, sit out there for, for a little, about an hour, catch, some, catch a nice little breeze, um, and just and come back and, and dock again. Um, it's just a, a place where families can come and just, you know, more so unwind and relax. That's true. Yeah, like usually, you know, we have seen a lot of people, you know, like we showed you back then when we were walking on a dock, people eating for dinner, then they wait about an hour, two hours, and then they um, get on a boat and they cruise, you know, um, on the river, you know what I mean, after they ate dinner. It's cruise. Um, it's a summer event we have, like, mm, I think it's in August. enjoying our evening, you know, down here at the dock, you know, getting, you know, some fresh air, watching the grateful geese, you know, swim around, and um, we thank you guys, you know, for tuning in to Hanging with the Shoemakers, um, don't forget to like, um, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that uh, notification, um, uh, that notification bell so you know that we uploaded a video, so until the next time, guys, guys, stay blessed, and we'll be talking to you guys real soon. Bye, family. Have a peaceful evening, guys. Bye, everyone.